This so conference Agile will now DevOps. be recorded. Okay, so we're going to start with this. Um, brief introduction about myself. I'm a certified enterprise Agile coach and trainer and DevOps enthusiast. Uh, I have a total of 15 years of international work experience. I work with uh, many companies like Boston Consulting Group, uh, BCG, uh, Max Life Insurance, ING Bank, uh, and various other consultancy companies as well as bank. Some of them is ABN, Emro, um, RBS, uh, TCS, Accenture, all those companies. Um, yeah, what I like, I really like and uh, I'm passionate about Agile way of working and Agile and DevOps uh, and there are a strong correlation between those two and I think um, this session came up when we had a certain discussion and I, I, it was it was really strange to see in the lot of material and a lot of text videos are available online and with they talk about agile and devops and, and i personally think they are not correct so this is in a small attempt to at least let's discuss it and like you know let's try to find out where the uh, the information lies and we will try to interpret in our own way of working based on the facts and the information available to us these are my contact numbers and these are some of my certifications um, so what i have done um so what the today's key topic is differences between agile and devops which is like a never ending debate in the software development industry and now uh, some of the key questions which we have is what are the differences which one to use for the better outcome and which one is better for my career growth these are the three high level topic which i have uh, which i think i will try to cover in this session um but before i move further up um, there are one thing I would like to know from you, uh, from any every one of you, uh, is there anything specific uh, or any other point which you want me to cover, or uh, at least uh, set your, um, let me know your expectation from this call, so that at the end of this call we would like to have a fruitful session where you really feel that yes we have really invested a good amount of time and we I came out something really nice out of it. So that's the main objective. The moment you will uh, enjoy it, you will learn it. I think uh, that's the more important than anything else. So uh, any idea, any question or any specific thing you have? Uh, yeah, Mahavir, I think we discussed it earlier on as well. So <laughs> whatever you talk about, I would like to hear in very practical terms what you've done actually, right? So if there okay. was an issue, okay. how did you overcome this? And uh, first, we would like to know the theory about uh, the Agile methodology, uh, that uh, how they uh -huh. best DLC with Agile school of thought. And uh -huh. then you tell us an example that you were working somewhere, this happened, and this is how you resolved it. So it will be more interesting and more interactive, I believe. Okay. More? So we have... So one guys, one thing I would like uh, I request to all of you is I want to keep this session very interactive. It's not like one way session where I'm just giving some information. Uh, I think if you interact, I think you will find it more valuable for yourself. So uh, and I think if that if, if you are not feeling comfortable, then it's absolutely OK. You don't need to say so. Uh, but if you have a question, if you are OK with this, then that will be really helpful. So anybody else, anything other than this? Sayar, Sanjeev, Neha, Naveen, Bhargav, Suresh, no? Okay. So, um, so let's let's also define certain meeting rules. So the way we will uh, organize our this session. So this small meeting, virtual meeting, what we are having. Uh, one of the meeting rule we have is uh, we call it um, our working agreement. Okay. Uh, are you guys aware of uh, something like that called working agreement? Have you used that? Not really, but I mean, I think it's self-explanatory that we will set out some rules uh, for today's conversation and uh, we will uh, comply with those rules. 
yeah so and this is one of the principle we follow in when you talk about agile way of working there is a working uh, you know agreement which we made when you start with every team because each team there are certain set of guidelines which have been given but when you want to implement agile in any organization there will be unique context to it the different uh, you know team structure different type of people from different culture different background different age group you know uh, and then when they all want to work together there should be one common rule and you cannot just standardize that okay this rule is applicable same template applicable for everybody okay so one is one which i think from my side is i would like to do it time boxed so uh, as i mentioned i think uh, it's till plan till 11 30 pm original session i think we were thought of like maybe two hours uh, 8 30 to 11 30 so maybe let's definitely 11 before 11 30 we'll try to wind wind it up uh, but if possible we can do it earlier also depends on the number of question any other rule which you would like to define no um second thing uh, yeah second... Would, would, would you like to set up a little test for us uh, in the end like i mean uh, would you like to ask uh, specific questions about what you've spoken or will you give uh, some of us the chance to present our understanding about the topic yeah so i think that's uh, that's one thing uh, actually uh, i had in my mind uh, if you are not asking question then do you allow me to ask a question this is more to bring you the engagement and also like what we are discussing if you can you know if you are really at giving attention you will be able to understand so what i will do is i will switch my role i will become a like a person who's attending this meeting and then you are the speaker you tell me about a specific topic is that okay with you or no yeah that's absolutely fine I'm, i think how about others yeah, it's fine, it's fine. Okay, cool. So, um, so make it interactive. And then maybe some questions which we are going to ask. Okay, so let's start. Um, so what is, first of all, let's talk about Agile. Okay, so what... Um, before, sorry, one thing just came in my mind. Uh, do we want to have a break in between, or we we are okay with that? Because 8:30 we are starting, maybe around 10 o'clock. Do you want to have a break, or we'll see you on the situation? What do you think? Or everybody set for three hours? No problem, no disturbance. Yeah, we need we'll go for it. Break, yeah. we'll to break in between. yeah. So let's uh, say 10 p.m. India time. We will take a break okay. for say, 10 minutes. Yeah. Okay. So when we'll reach to near to the time, in case I'm missing it, please let me know so that we are will be on track. But I will I'll ensure that we are getting a uh, needful track. So let's let's deep dive into the agile. So I'm really 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 like agile way of working. I was introduced to agile way of working in somewhere 2012. Um, well, I think somewhere 2011, and from 2012, I really started deep diving into that. And from there, it was a long journey, and there's a lot of learning, and it was really wonderful journey. So what is agile? Basically, agile is an umbrella. It's a, a software met development methodology, which consists of multiple processes, multiple frameworks, and methods. So Scrum, Kanban, XP, DSDM, FDD, Roop, and Crystal. As of now, I think in the market, as of Scrum, Kanban, and XP are the very popular one. Okay, so many of those things you see in Agile, and I think there will we are going to talk a little bit about uh, uh, Scrum. Uh, in Scrum, there is a uh, book written um, by Ken Schwaber and Jeff Sutherland. Uh, called scrum guide which is available online also which is called scrum guide it's a bible for the scrum uh, it's a very small document but very very powerful document but when you implement the scrum a lot of things what has been what has been done is combination of 
be certain practices have been picked up from different methodologies or frameworks and when you combine together you are practically implementing those frameworks on the floor so for example um uh if you heard of user story which is not coming from scrum but we always use user story in scrum now what is user story all those things i think we can i cannot go into too much detail otherwise we will be drifting away from our topic uh, but the we can if required we can have a separate session uh, on on those topics also guys maybe if you if you are interested in having any agile uh, training agile devops related training please feel free to contact us contact me or contact mantosh and devops school or you can also contact uh, on agilemis.com okay um what agile is also about is it's incremental delivery it's a iterative and incremental delivery so you have one loop then it's going through another loop and then another loop so it's like one development cycle now where what you have your plan your design building testing and releasing okay where we are incrementally building rather than a big bang in a one go so in typical before agile there was a waterfall in waterfall we used to make a big plan everything was chalked out very in detail everything was cleared out assumptions were cleared out risk uh, risk map was risk risk register were created and a lot of other those activities were done and there used to be a project manager and then they will be he will like you know direct everybody what needs to be done by whom and he will coordinate those entire or uh, things and then he will also become a very important person uh, but at the end product will be delivered maybe after six months or one year's time right and the if the way technology has evolved uh, and i think this is where it brings a lot of uh, shift in the customer's expectation because of technological advancement the demography and multiple other factors every customer wants everything more or less real time if it was it was not then can you make it happen and one somebody will come up with this idea and then you know th that brings the disruption simple example paytm right at certain time it was absolutely okay when you're transferring payments from one uh, one party to another party dif from different banking channels it used to take a couple of days or you know a couple of hours Paytm came, everything was like wallet, online, instantaneously, and a lot of other different customer experience altogether, where people really felt, okay, it's not only just payment, it's also about a lot of other things, you know. Uh, so uh, from uh, going away from that very large development cycle to very like you know more more real time better customer experience this is where agile came into the picture where you are building feature in incremental way and you are delivering to the market you are testing it verifying it if it works it's good if not you are taking getting the feedback and implementing uh, the all those required features which customer really really like because in product development there is one key rule which like nobody can predict what customer are really going to like you know there are n number of example where people thought this is how it will be the best marketer the best you know salesperson the best ceos of the company they couldn't figure it out what exactly customer are going to like because it's just like a, a movie you never know when it will be a hit or when it will be flow flop you know people try their best but there is always something there is an uncertainty uh, and this is where you see a lot of companies have failed in their product launch so then there is a lot of new ways of working which is started i think agile was uh, formally there was a, a concept called agile manifesto which came in 2001 and uh, there were 17 professional we which met in switzerland to discuss about uh, the lightweight framework which can how we can do a better software development and those people came from a different different backgrounds uh, and uh, you know kanban xp expertise and all those uh, and they had a very good software development life cycle experience so they came together they have written this piece of uh, uh, page like piece of text actually i would say not code uh, with four values and uh, 12 principles those values and principles are still valid they are very very uh, powerful so let me just show you that um, manifesto so it's agile manifesto.org here manifesto for agile software development and it talks about individual interaction over processes and tool working software uh, over comprehensive documentation customer collaboration over contract negotiation and responding to change over following a plan 
uh, generally there is a two days or three days workshop where we really go into detail about all those things uh, which unfortunately i cannot do it here but this is the website where it talks about the value so here agile is really one important thing i want to highlight is agile is really really focusing on individual and interaction basically it's, i'm focusing more on the people's aspect it's it's not saying that there is no importance of the processes and tools but i will over this two thing the things on the left hand side i will give more weightage so that while there is a value in the item on the right the value in the item on the left is more so the here these are more important then same time there are also agile 12 principles and these are the 12 principles highest priority to satisfy customer through early and continuous delivery of valuable software okay agile is never ever saying that i'm just going to talk about the development now practically how we are using an, in our organization this is a different question but here the principle says that our highest priority is to satisfy the customer through early and continuous delivery of valuable software that's number one principle we welcome the changing requirement and deliver the working software frequently from a couple of weeks to a couple of months with the presence of shorter time scale business people and developer work together you know uh, here agile is also focusing on the face to face conversation like right? with the uh, development team and the business team uh, another thing is simplicity so there are so these 12 principles are very very powerful one and i think it takes a couple of hours before we really under try to deep dive and try to understand it but what i'm saying is this is where the agile manifesto is written and then i think anything in any framework any method which has been defined more or less uh, they are not more or less they follow these principles and values now practically how much you can implement in your organization depending on the that various constraint that is a different question but if you see anything in your organization that this is how agile works um, which may or may not be the uh, very close to the 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 what agile was really intended for but having said that it is a journey rather than a one single stop that okay now i am completely agile after that i don't need to do anything it's a li like lifelong journey because agile also talks about continuous improving yourself so whatever you have so there is a product innovation part and then we talk about um some thing which was really exceptional few years ago it has become a normal now okay and whatever uh, is a normal now will become a basic necessity few years down the line if you look at the human history electricity at certain point it was like you know luxury you know it was really wow factor at certain point it becomes like no it's normal and now it is like basic necessity if you don't have electricity no you can't imagine your life without an electricity look at the cell phone you know internet uh, the way things are evolving so you know and the new and new things will keep on coming so this was briefly about agile and i think this is what agile wikipedia says um, agile software development comprises comprises of various approaches to software development under which requirements and solution evolve through collaborative effort of self organizing and cross functional teams and their customer and user okay it advocates adaptive planning evolutionary development early delivery continuous improvement and it encourages rapid and flexible response to change okay so here i think one one important thing which i want to highlight is about um, it's about self organizing and cross functional team if you read the scrum guide there will be uh, there is a one statement which call of what is cross functional team well cross functional team is somewhere where we can uh, you know we can the team can finish the entire work without depending on somebody you know and if i can take it from starting from excuse me re requirement till uh, shippable the product should be shippable can i take it there you know of course the development becomes the core part which we need to be there but anything which is what whatever is required you need to think about it. uh so far so good do we uh um everybody got this point any question at this point of time am i going too fast too slow it's fine okay um okay practically what i observed what is agile and i think if you will talk to various agile coaches i think this is this is where we are focusing on the mindset part the focus on the people part 
changing that part is one of the biggest challenge you know and especially if people are working in certain way of working from last next 20 years 15 years you know 30 years and suddenly this change comes then you know it, it becomes very difficult to adopt the change forget about the organization where we n number of people we have professionally connected even not personally look at our elders if they are like age of like 60 65 or 70 or 80 and suddenly you bring the new gadgets to them that they, we, this is new first class smartphone which has come and this is the feature that is the feature they struggle uh, well i'm not saying everybody but many of those people uh, really really struggle this is one very simple example despite being we are giving really them very good care or you know very good training still it becomes very difficult for them um cultural part the organization its own culture changing that culture is very difficult because this is how we are used we used to do things how can i change that if i'm changing it i'm more or less i'm changing my identity and that brings a very lot of friction a lot of challenges you know a lot of other things uh, agile is also about values and principles so in the end whatever you are doing it's about uh, those four values and those 12 principles if you are not if you're breaking any of those values or principles then probably you are not doing agile okay there is a one other concept in the uh, in the market which talk about hybrid agile okay and what is hybrid agile we take a waterfall and we we mix it with the agile and i think we do a lot of things so i think in, in, in um, all of you have done some kind of devops courses right the, Anybody who's really new to DevOps also? Yeah, I'm new to DevOps. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm new to, new to DevOps. Okay, so no problem. So uh, basically, uh, whenever we talk about uh, in, uh, in there is a evolution. So uh, let me briefly talk about this thing. So earlier, when we used to have an application, we used to have a like monolithic application, very big application, everything is there in one together, you know, and then there comes the uh, the SUA based architecture where everything was service oriented. Uh, And there, uh, there comes the SOAP's architecture where service oriented, loosely coupled services were defined, and etc. Now comes the microservices. So you see a shift where from big bang application to more modular or loosely coupled applications were built. And from there comes to the microservices where you see the things are becoming more real time, more instantaneous, you know, and much more faster. I don't need to. Uh, it takes a couple of minutes to deploy that entire application earlier it used to take like uh, i don't know how many of you have really worked in th those uh, i've seen practically it used to take like one day one whole day to deploy a change in in particular application you need to coordinate with so many teams then there comes this this SOA part where you know a lot of things became much more easier and now we are into this microservices world where everything is like available just flip of second Will, will deploy it if required it will roll it back and everything is okay so uh, when you look at the uh, the from uh, process perspective earlier we used to have a waterfall where everything was planned for long time six months 12 months two years even i know uh, in, in working with one of the very large bank of uk uh, i there was a customer who was waiting for two years they were happy to pay you the money few million euro they were happy to pay for that particular solution um, but they were waiting for just two years and they couldn't get that solution now imagine kind of frustration and as a customer you will have that i'm happy to pay you few million you don't care for me then probably i will go for somewhere else you know it definitely brings that uh, bad customer experience then there there is a situation where we talked about the the agile way of working so where agile really came agile what agile really did was it started breaking down things into smaller small pieces uh, in scrum way of working it call it sprint so your time box event of like few maximum of four weeks you will have a development cycle now when we say development cycle okay 
there is a very important difference and this is where i think a lot of confusion lies that agile really means and it or re mainly for uh, really about only development okay agile talks about product development agile talks about uh, building something really nice now that development product development doesn't mean that i will just build a code and i will not take it to the production okay of course my core part is the development where i really need to develop it but um it doesn't mean that it should it says my code should be potentially shippable now you want to ship it to the customer at the end of every sprint or not it's up to the product owner okay who can decide what needs to be done now what is product owner in a, in, a, in in layman's language i will say a somebody who knows about the business who knows about a little bit about technology and who knows about the customers combination of these three skills makes a very good product owner in 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 simpler word let me say somebody who can make a decision that okay i want to take this feature live or not okay so if you see from that perspective agile really broke, brought it down the the number of days uh, uh, waiting time from months to couple of days or maybe a couple of weeks right there was a there are, and what happened is it it gave you four weeks time from four weeks it reduced like there are teams generally they started following they started getting better and better they will follow more or less two weeks sprint cycle that is that becomes more or less international norms uh, which is not too short as well as not too big okay even there are companies where which are following one week sprint cycle okay that is when you are using scrum way of working when you are talking about um, kanban there is another way of working where you don't have a like one week or two weeks like continuous flow basis it's it's mainly used for production support team or some other things where your requirements are so ad hoc that you don't know what will come next moment okay so this is where kanban is really really helpful um so uh, what happened eventually from multiple days or months years to we have brought it down to couple of days or maybe one week or two weeks time okay where there is a possibility if required i can launch that increment the product increment the enhancement or the bug fixes or something which customer didn't like that i can change now with that change comes the another challenge where comes now earlier you used to have a good production support team like we have l1 l2 l3 team and there will be onboarding and they will come to know about it all those things but now when the your development cycle is such a short cycle every more or less every alternate week there is a potential release now if you if you want to take it live there are n number of thing which needs to be done so anybody who has who has been involved in the uh, or who knows a little bit about what all things it takes or how, how much or what all activities it requires to take uh, things live even everything has been done so suppose my piece of code my functionality is really cool everything is clear tested now if you want to take it to my uat is done now i want to take it till production what all activities are involved anyone and especially if you have not given the answer i will really encourage you to please participate and you know there is nothing right and wrong answer by the way and it is a very safe environment so even if you give a uh, something which doesn't make sense it's absolutely okay it's more right the idea here is we want to learn from each other yeah okay. can you please reiterate your question mahavir so once my product uh, so once my software feature is developed it has been the, uh, tested by the development team and there let let's take a it has also been tested by user acceptance team or a business team from that moment to take it to production which all activities are there so integration would be one part uh, then you have to uh, save it somewhere like i mean you should have a central repository you, so, so these these are the activities and then the full uh, dependency test has to be done you only talked about one feature so that feature might uh -huh. be dependent upon something else so dependency mm -hmm. another part so i mean uh, uh, and then the deployment of this feature is is, is, is another mm -hmm. part mm -hmm. okay more navin do you have anything to add
और नेहा more of uh, deploying it into different uh, staging environments and then deploying it into the prod uh, and uh, in, uh, i'm telling it assuming the testing is uh, completed right but be, when before you do the deployment in staging environment or in pre prod are there more things you do what about security clearance vapt sign off what about the yeah. performance testing what about compliance approval do we do that yes of course those are required yes we will do that in uh, uat right the performance testing and everything mm -hmm. if there are any issues then then we can uh, give it to the developer team that what is going on and they they will do according to that right correct so correct so now i'm actually you are bingo that this is the point i was looking for because i'm doing this testing and suddenly i found something is wrong then i what i will do is i will go back to the development team and i will say development team this there is a problem and this is what is not done and what development team will say well i have tested in my environment it is working does it make sense or they will say well uh this is how it is or maybe they will try to reproduce it so basically more or less they will say in my dev environment i developed it it is working well there are environmental differences which are beyond my control i'm more than happy to work on it but if i will work on this fix then i will not work on the new development piece and somebody needs to make a priority call or which one you want to take this one or that one and then sometimes you have two sponsors working for another project and they both will start shouting and you know they will try to get that uh, space that okay no 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 my project is on high priority no 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 my one is on high priority and a lot of things like that will happen so the simple even if you look at the simple idea that once u8 is done from u8 till production there are so many things which people will suffer especially the operation team when they need to generally they take the approvals before they go go live uh, you know if this is there or not or there will be certain dedicated teams they will uh, they will do that and they will coordinate with the so many parties involved to get that approval okay so now one one problem we have solved that okay the development cycle was too big we reduce it to couple of weeks or maybe couple of days and now comes to take it live so i have seen a practical example when people started implementing agile and actual development just took them less than 10 days so let's take say roughly 2 weeks time just in order to take that product live there was almost 2 weeks waiting time you know people need to do lot of things they need to fill up etc etc different forms different approval different things you know and then they somewhere they will say oh i got the slot now maybe it will be after two more weeks so maybe i my feature is ready but it is taking four weeks to take it to production okay now agile is saying do whatever best you can see but definitely it brought to a, one interesting topic call um, you know uh, the diff, the wall of confusion we call it so a uh, development team wants to build new and new features where production team or operations team want to have a stability it's not that operation team doesn't want to launch the product straight, uh, you know earlier so agile at least brought those changes that yes if you want you are there you can make it happen uh, and you know uh, especially when it was at a certain point agile is not that explicit and this is where the one of the challenge lies challenge lies with the agile if it is not that descriptive it is left to you depending on your context you make the right decision many time people will find it difficult to make that decision you know so uh, in order to uh, bridge that gap you know and when you see okay development team is able to do the development faster but, but now my operation team imagine if they need to deploy every the change on every weekend you know it will be a nightmare for them and on top of that they will also feel i i know certain operations team they were so confident that today is uh, the so today i actually we were doing a loose talk and then somebody was saying yeah tomorrow we are going to have a new release 
so let's better uh, get ready and bring all the all your food and everything you know if require even bring clothes definitely we are going to spend night in our office you know and there's like yeah this is how it works here we are absolutely sure you know and, and i was so surprised just listening those words that how can you be so sure that even without going live you can say yes definitely we are going to you know sleep in our offices that was really really shocking you know and this is where i think uh, and then um, so values and principles were followed uh, but then this is where origin of devops came in so one of the thing we talked about when we go back to the my development team you know and say well something is really wrong and i think let's let's fix it now there is a person called patrick debio so i'm really uh, briefly going to cover this origin of devops part so this patrick debios uh, he um, in 2007 he used to live in Ghent, belgium uh, uh, by the way i used to live in netherlands uh, for almost quite a number of years and during that time also i was in, in uh, near to belgium in netherlands so i uh, this person um, he was working for the uh, one of the government com, um, agency and they were doing some big data migration program uh, data center migration basically um, there was a development team and there were operations team and there were n number of parties and at when his role was the testing so at certain point he failed so bad you know doing this back and forth back and forth he was really 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 disappointed because there are two different team, two silos. They are not talking to each other and there are a lot of things going on. It's like everybody like, no, no, it's not my problem. It's their problem. It's not my problem. It's their problem. problem. Look, from, where is the customer? We, we have defined, we talk about customer centricity. Uh, I, I think probably from 90, uh, at least as far as I know in 90s, 80s, 90s, 2000, whenever you talk about customer centricity is there. But this person really, really felt that where is that customer centricity if i want to take something live those two teams are even not talking to each other forget about you know all other teams you know so then people were so sure yeah if you want to take live definitely it is going to take that much time and then uh, then he went um, then there was an agile infrastructure one meetup which was organized by somebody in uh, i think us mountain view i forgot the name of the person and that that person was so much criticized he got a, such a bad feedback about that event that nobody uh, he said well i'm not going to join this session because i'm sure nobody's going to turn up for this thing and guess what in that session there was a one person who turned up and that was the patrick uh, that person was sorry that that event was in canada uh, and this person was in belgium so he joined that call and he was so so disappointed there was nobody Okay, and there is a brief history about it. Uh, I think, uh, and in the end, they found out. Okay, uh, he found out that uh, Patrick found out that person. He met them, and then they discuss about it a couple of hours, and then from there, this whole thing started. And at certain, they went back to their countries, and then they had a. Um, there was a uh, one presentation where we were ta they were talking about the ten releases in a day okay so 10 plus releases a day is it sounds like a wow especially in the 2007 2008 time if you can do, make a 10 releases a day it will be really really extraordinary okay and this person was really really watching this event it was streamed online and then he really instantly realized that this is what it is this is what i was looking for you know that's that's really that's really cool you know any there was some twitter exchange and then a lot of things happened there and then um you know to cut it short the story uh he what he did he ended up organizing the first devops day in two th i believe 2009 uh, uh there is a youtube video which is available uh um you know if you if you want do you it's like almost 10 15 minutes video um maybe if you want shall i play it here or you want to watch it in your own time what what would you prefer i think we'll watch it in our own time and if you can just uh copy paste the link in chat and uh, we can take it from there yeah uh, so think, uh this think, sorry for interrupting you mm -hmm. mahavir you can probably you can send us this uh uh slides and then we have all the contents also so that will be great i guess sure 
sure sure no problem so uh, i will do that uh, what this person did was he organized the first devops days from devops day there are a lot of twitter exchange and there it, then it from in twitter generally like you know in, in 140 character drills real estate space uh, number of devops devops days is really big uh, big name a big word so they cut it down to devops so there is a hashtag devops and from there it really really got the momentum and then a lot of things happened there and you know slowly slowly it took a lot it uh, took the traction and then people started coming up with this this whole devops idea and they really really found it very very interesting you know now here uh, and by the way this patrick went back to that uh, to the conference or the in uh, talking about the experience about agile and scrum in um, in especially large data migration uh, part uh, data center migration part actually okay so from there it, it started really really normal lot of companies started coming up the, uh, coming up with this devops thing and they, they really liked it at the same time there were a lot of automation which were going on a lot of tools were there which will started coming up and they used to help you they used to solve your some of your problem and the lot of emphasis was on the automation part that whatever you're doing we will be able my tool will be able to do it it takes you days this tool will do in a couple of minutes. This is where you see, and then you eventually those this ecosystem of those tools started ev like, you know, evolving. That's this is where, and this is where really, really the DevOps became very, very popular. And I remember in 2012, working for one of the very good, uh, very big company in Netherlands, the DevOps concept was popular in that company at that time, you know. I, I still remember and I think there are many companies which which are uh, they are still about to follow this DevOps we were working but there are companies so imagine 2009 this coin this term was coined they they came to the, this people started building few things about around it um in 2011-12 there are already companies who they were started adopting it okay um one important thing the, uh, which which really really uh, goes there and there is an organization called devops agile uh, association um, this is uh, devops is a philosophy culture movement that arose from an urgent need for a better alignment collaboration and empathy between it development and operation okay uh, our, uh, and we uh, i've seen many times um, people don't want to talk to each other if you want to talk to me no 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 you cannot talk to me first go to my manager take permission and then come back to me but but I, I'm facing something really serious. Yeah, it's I know I understand but sorry, you know I cannot help you because I need to finish my work because I have given a deadline to finish this development work and this is the deadline if this delivery deadline it we must meet those deadline Operation is suffering. Well, then go back there and find out the information do the escalation and all those things I work with one of the uh, one of the Indian client and they uh, there it took them four years to develop certain application when using agile devops we were working they rebuilt this application from scratch and it took them six months six months when india launched they did so after launch there was this interaction and then what one of the uh, you know uh, um, senior leader of that organization mentioned that in last four years we used to travel a lot we used to do a lot of our work and my half of day used to just you know uh, it was just gone in aligning different parties together that this is what we mean this is the development team this is the design team this is the ui team this is the business acceptance team this is the security team etc etc you know and here a lot of things become self-organized you know so this is where you know you really see that the big difference especially when people are coming together devops uh, again their devops aims for a simple yet important goal to make it easier faster and cheaper to provide more value faster to the business consumer and user okay what practically i have i have seen i think uh, uh, it's devops is more about mindset focus highly focus on the automation like automate everything whatever you can do because when i'm communicating with different teams it is much more difficult than you know if i'm communicating between two computers if i can automate those part if you say come to if you will ask computer to execute this command he will just execute that command 
it doesn't matter it's the middle of the night or it's like it is raining it is a very hot day or it is very cold doesn't matter right he, it, if you say a computer start at nine o'clock sharp nine o'clock it will just start right and that that really brings lot of lot of advantage to the banks look from the ceo's perspective you know uh, at certain point i really want to change something and if I'm my organization is not able to do that because of XYZ reason and especially when even teams are not coming together forget about the the infrastructure is available other things are available and people are not coming to a, you know one conclusion I uh, then then what are you doing you know that brings a very big question so then as a CEO definitely if my automation really going to help me it is going to delight me it is going to give me better software in the shorter time I will go for it you know that really helps me it's also about the culture. This is how we used to do it, but this is the new norm, right? Then another, this is where the technical practices, where it, it has really became very popular. CICD has become a, such a popular word, keyword. Uh, many of the organizations leader don't know about CICD. What is CICD? I just know this word CI and CD. And whenever you talk about DevOps, DevOps means yes, automation and CICD is done, then DevOps is done. Even there is a there is a discussion where people will say, well, uh, you know, is it DevOps uh, evolution of uh, you know next version of Agile? It is with Agile, against Agile, or something better than the Agile. Even some of the text, uh, yeah, I was just doing some research uh, on on different forums. People have mentioned DevOps is the next version of Agile. You know, they have mentioned that it is better than the Agile, or n number of things are there. Um, but if you practically if you see in the organization and uh, and I won't be surprised in many of those big organization if you talk to the VP senior VP director people uh, what is what exactly DevOps well they will say at CICD these are the tools and this thing and it makes faster and better they very few people will say DevOps is also about development and operations team bringing them together Agile promotes face-to-face -face communication and when one of my client implements agile DevOps model they brought this development and Operation team even together Right, so I what I see uh, that this technical practices many time or uh, you know I've seen people think DevOps means these technical practices because it really really gives me the results uh, It solves my pain areas where we are I'm not able to control things it really really helps me now this is a typical uh, devops tools i think more more or less you know um, but especially for the newcomers if you are planning then uh, you have coding you are using different this tool called kit jira uh, for planning maybe for jira there is also possibility to connect jira with the with your code the confluence you are there your marvin selenium j unit jenkins which is orchestration you have a docker aws chef and sybil kubernetes data splunk uh, data doc splunk and nokios um the the and this is just some of the uh, tools which we are using there are n number of tools which are available which have come up and depending on your uh, technical infrastructure you know technical uh, what you call technical stack you may want to use different tools um uh, so that so uh, similar let's talk about similarity between agile and devops okay both are talking about the cultural shift both are talking about bringing team together and both are talking about faster feedback because when I'm doing automation testing if things are failing I know immediately and I'm getting that feedback and people are taking the corrective action or sometimes even machines are taking the corrective actions right here we are bringing together both are like I want to bring operations and uh, development and operations together but agile is talking about bring the cross-functional team anybody and everybody who is required to take this production from idea to go live bring them together you are going to align with them okay in particular devops we are just talking about dev and ops and there comes the uh, another concept called devsecops even i heard biz devops one of my client has implemented biz devops where business development and operation team is coming together i have heard this business devsecops so my business development security and operations team is coming together then there is a, another question what about compliance i'm going to add base dev sec ops compliance right or n number of organ you know in marketing 
n number of things which are which all are required to take it live okay so it depends on there's another concept called definition of done what is the definition of done when you say i my product development is done and and lot of things around that uh, but the, uh, still but the similarity definitely between agile and devops is both brings together both the um, the uh, bring teams people together as well as uh, sometimes even the uh, in you know uh, machines together data centers together so ultimately they, uh, but if you look from human perspective they definitely brings teams together what are the differences between uh, agile and devops um okay so agile del i think i talked about agile delivery cycle can be max of one month or employee sprint and especially when i'm saying agile here i'm referring to scrum framework uh, which is very popular one i think almost every company is moving towards uh, scrum way of working you have you heard of daily stand up sprint review retrospective all those things are coming from scrum but devops focuses on hyper releases starting with several per day now this is where the big difference lies agile says you release is as fast as possible now the definition of as fast as possible you know because i'm silent i'm not clarifying that it must be 10 releases a day or 100 releases a day or several releases a day depending on your context do your best having said that devops the one of the key focus is how can i do automate and if require i can do multiple releases a day okay now if you will do those things manually definitely you cannot do that so if you want to achieve that you need to go for those specialized tools uh, which will fulfill those needs and definitely this is required in this current context and and people will not wait for uh, and i think those era has gone where customers are really really loyal on certain specific thing that if you are uh, or a specific to company if you are not giving me those services those product don't worry i will go to your competitor you know um there are there in fact there were the time where um i i, I heard that i think it was uh, i'm not sure that 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 is applicable uh, still um in those countries uh there used to be time where people used to stay with one company for very long long time i think 20 years 30 years you know i have seen one person who started with one company and you know retired with the same company and uh, probably my age was equivalent to his experience at that moment and i was like really 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 shocked with how how is it possible but especially in i think in india it, it is a bit different uh, and uh, earlier it used to be the case also but again uh, coming back to this agile devops i think uh, the more focus on the hyper releases here a delivery cycle agile provides framework to rapidly adopt and advocates collaboration in entire team which is required to make product shippable i think this is very very powerful line entire team which is required to make product shippable now what is team if you read the scrum guide there is a cross functional team when you talk about cross-functional team ideally you should have somebody from every department or every expertise be it compliance be it xyz organi xyz organization unit to make this product shippable now it may be the case that i need one dedicated person for the whole full time but maybe i just need somebody's advice for a few hours i don't need that person to be available with my team for rest of the sprint Maybe if he comes once in a week, he talk, we talks about one or two hours, that's sufficient. For example, compliance team, right? But, and I, I even I have seen the one example where compliance will not give you the approval because the product what you have developed is not as per the specification or the standards they have defined for the organization. Imagine you have worked day and night, hundreds of people have worked on it, you are ready to launch this product and compliance say uh -uh, sorry you cannot launch it until unless you finish this and this and this and this until unless you don't give me this and this proof until unless you don't give me the proof that you have fulfilled all the rbi requirement or the central bank's requirement and if you are not going to do that i have all the rights to stop you and that kind of that brings a lot of pressure and a lot of lot of different you know uh, complexity in the organizations 
here so i think there is this is where agile doesn't talk about only for dev and ops part it's uh, again we talks about product development and when you talk about product development it means a shippable product it doesn't mean just code is developed and my qa is done and that's that's done okay uh, devops promotes a fully automated continuous integration and deployment pipeline to enable frequent releases this is what devops is really really focusing on it really really promotes it automate everything if possible just do it you know um now uh, if you look at the from agile advantages perspective it's more user focus i think i've shown you the agile manifesto and we had here we talked about individual interaction over processes and tool here agile manifesto clearly says we are going to you know given the choice where i need to choose between uh people and process versus tools and uh, so people and interaction over process and tool i will give more weightage to people intra individual and interaction so basically people and interaction in the end we are building something for a humans to you know use those things or for somebody a customer and most of the time those people will be uh, somewhere you will be interacting with the human uh, one of the human will be consuming it or he will be using it for say environment or for some other things but the processes and tools gives us the structure it's like are you living to earn or are you earning to live it depends you know that same kind of conversation and here they are specifically saying we are going to focus on user we are going to focus on the people um so agile focus on the user to focus development increase team collaboration and fast product delivery flexibility this is what it talks about in case things have changed there are a dramatic shift in the you know the business context it's absolutely okay another practical example uh, uh, i'm i think all of you are from india in india two th in 2018 there was a supreme court ruling and they said uh, there is a there is a card called aadhar card uh, which is uh, more or less like a unique identifying number given to you um, that you cannot use that card for your kyc purposes and they were organization they were building their entire journey that automated uh, journey uh, based on that aadhar kyc now imagine you are in the middle of that big project and you are you are just like you cannot go ahead with that automation you cannot use your aadhar card that your entire planning is like if you are working in the waterfall we are working you will go back to the board and those are the literal words i i i'm repeating from somebody from the client side just mention it have we have we have it been the waterfall way of working in like three months it was almost three months when they started this project we will be writing the f um, you know brd at that time now with this ruling probably we'll go back to the square one and we'll start again so probably next one years after one years we will start the development those were the words agile but however agile also brings the challenges which is about uncertainty of the end goals there is a concept called uh, time cost and scope okay uh, generally uh, in agile way of working you say you fix the time you fix your cost but uh, you know um, play with the scope and there is a n number of thing which we can talk about the but idea is if you keep your scope flexible so you have n number of people available to you of course in initial starting of the project you make some changes but at later on you make that okay this is my team because more or less i know if i want to uh, keep this team for this long period of time or say entire one year how much money i need i don't need any business case approval or anything like that my budget is more or less fixed i know and this is my team this is what i can do with this team you know whatever i need to do this is my team and then you are varying the scope now of course there is a predictability where you can see if you're going with this speed if you want to go to say suppose your velocity is say 100 km per hour and if you reach if you want to reach to 1000 km maybe it will take me approximately 10 hours you know if i'm take maybe 10 11 hour something like that but if i already know my velocity is 100 and my i need to reach at 2000 uh, i have to go 2000 km and because of the business constraint my time is just 10 hours you know then there is a moment maybe you want to ramp up your team and whenever you are ramping up your team it will take time to you before you get the 
productivity from the entire team so again there is and so that's why the good practice there is you keep your scope uh, open especially and you evolve as you go but the very important thing here is agile definitely and st very strongly focuses on the bring the top priority feature first and there is a concept called 2080 rule your 20 percent feature will be used by 80 percent of your users or 20 percent of people will bring the 80 percent of revenue to your organization look at the microsoft word how many features we are using actually right so and there's n number of example related to that so same thing agile focuses on bring those 20 features first and let's uh, do out of rest of the 80 features we'll talk about based on the next priority right making it uh, making it work right for the last team this is also one of the big uh, big uh, challenge we face uh, when you are talking about agile because when you are interacting with the people and you want to change the large number of people forget about hundred or thousands of people if you just have a fifth like group of 10 people and you want to go for a travel you know or you want to plan out a, a trip to somewhere and imagine everybody has their own agenda or they want you want to bring somebody uh, okay what about this or what about that it becomes very even very difficult in professional organization where your you have your own kras and you know all those things sorry uh, it brings a lot of other challenges you know and and, and i think a lot of resistance which i have seen a uh, lot of organization agile transformation or organization transformation fails because people really 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 uh, there are n number of resistance people get and there are n number of questions which comes and uh, there are so many uh, so many factors behind that uh, just to give you a, a hint of this there is a, another concept called uh, there is a change model called quarters eight step change if you want to implement any change in the organization how can you how can you do that um now ed devops advantages are enable better quality performance accelerated product and innovation how well agile definitely advocates you should have a good quality so my product should be potentially shippable so they are already talking about my quality so should be so good that i can just release it now here is now devops what really does really really better is like i can really measure it i can give you the data and i can say if your quality is really good or not because agile I left it on the human but human may say and I've seen uh, uh, and practical examples again uh, people are just pushing the code that yes the work is done because uh, my deadline was to f deliver this work on XYZ date and how many test cases you have tested especially in the QA environment two test cases oh wow that's really cool in business acceptance testing how many test cases will be run probably 500 well that doesn't make any sense yeah, but when well, this was deadline and this is we had just agreed we will do the two test cases and this is what we did but we met our commitment and if you do the devops way of working it will bring things uh, you know uh, much faster and it will make it more clear that your quality is really really good or not performance again any piece of code what you're writing is it good enough or not and are you how many users it can support accelerated product innovation that's also very 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 important point imagine you have launched a product you did certain planning you thought of this is the best product and there is a huge market for this product in this entire world you launch this product and just people didn't like it and there are n number of examples you can talk about now if you launch that product now your cost is like you know the the product development cost is already there you know it, it's, it's it, be, it will become more or less a sunk cost because nobody wants to buy that product so how can you turn around the situation so whatever investment those business sponsors have done how can they also get the value something out of it and i think i think this is where uh, you know um, what happens probably you can you will go back to the customer you will do some analysis what is really going wrong how, what, can you give us more input and there are a lot of techniques which which is done before and after launch and that how to make this product better in fact many times you will get the the a questionnaire can you do you want to you know participate in this customer survey and then you know etc etc so when you participate in those things you are giving a feedback a feedback about their product is it really good which features you like and don't like etc etc 
now based you got those feedback now comes the question how can i implement those feedback so even if i have n number of features i cannot first of all build it in one day i need to iterate it on top of that i need to keep on testing that it is not if i'm adding a new feature it is not breaking the rest of the 19 features you know so and this is where devops can really help you in doing the entire testing in couple of hours where it will take uh, as a human being couple of you know uh, days or i won't say i won't say a couple of days couple of weeks or months with a large team very large team and i think this is what i have also seen um so i think this 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 whole thing so you are getting feedback you are uh, developing it very fast you are ensuring that when i launch the product it's not going to fail or at least with respect to technical reasons it's not going to fail and then there is a higher chances of you getting the success there is another there is another person called lean startup eric eric nile if i remember correctly his name uh, last name i'm not sure but first name is eric uh, lean startup i think we should read that book also it's also talking about how can you pivot about certain idea and how can you turn around situation and devops is one of the enabler where you can really innovate your product and you can make it you can increase your chances of product launch success however challenges um, it's an additional burden on the team where you already have a very tight deadline everything needs to be done just right now expectations are very high on top of that if you want to implement devops it will take its own time and effort uh, if it is not done uh, correctly then uh, it is a vested investment on tools and infrastructure i have also seen uh, i um, i don't know how many of you have really seen that uh, i have automation test suit and every time you are launching uh, any product is your are your all the test cases are automated what do you what do you think in my observation i don't think uh, many of the organization even are keeping up with the space what do you think is it like all the test cases are automated really before you go live or there is always gap of like couple of weeks or couple of sprints i would say any comments? there will be a gap there will be a gap right so yeah, again and in, in fact some in some of the organization i have seen they forget like it's very difficult to maintain those things for us you know so even i don't want to invest the time there so this is where i've seen uh, some of the hesitation from the uh, top leadership that well i need etc etc um so i think this this is one of the big challenge so i'm not saying it it's it's a again burden if it is not done in a right way so if you want to do it also you should have a good people who really understand it and we can really give you the what devops means and at the devops schools i think um, uh, we are we are there to help you help your organization to grow and follow the best possible practices okay the the our success lies with your success the more you will succeed you know you will definitely going to refer us and you know ultimately we are there to help you okay uh, agile on so agile focuses on making developers and development cycle more efficient while devops bring the operations team into play to enable continuous integration and continuous delivery right so i think this is this is for um, uh, differences and i think this is the last one i think the agile and devops has a big role to play both have a big role to play i would say agile focuses on an iterative approach to development where you are building uh, into sprints or different different loops or cycles and you are taking those learning from one cycle to another cycle while the devops bring the two traditionally separate practices together development and operation which are normally isolated but ultimate goal of each one is to create further collaboration so while agile and devops each refer to different things use one to enable the other so what i have seen also and i think that probably um, uh, one thing which i have seen is if you implement devops at least i couldn't find any framework or any clear cut method where you can plan things correct me if i am wrong 
have you seen anything like that where you say well this is how we are going to organize a product if this is how we are going to prioritize it this is how we are going to specify the requirement because ultimately we are building something for the customer and this is one of the key frame i think things which i i haven't seen i think there are certain rules certain things which are principles which are there but there is no uh, that much clarity that's that's what i i think uh, this this is what i see that uh, and i think one of the very big company uh, they implemented agile with devops and the same company uh, later on they moved from agile to biz devops okay and they found huge 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 benefit uh, they i think they earn additional benefit of just to give you the numbers i think somewhere around 2 billion euro a year that was the extra profit they got 2 billion euro is just extraordinary amount you know and they use this power of agile and devops so uh, and i think they both goes hand in hand it's not devops is evolution of agile if you work on any devops project product project you will always uh, see the sprint planning or you will see some cards some stickies or something like that have you uh, what all practices or ceremonies or things you see when you when you say uh, we have a dev we are following devops practices anything which you see on the ground which you see something different we are doing in terms of a beat meeting or in terms of beat like some visual things which you see something different any idea any any input different in what sense mahavir different sense like uh, the earlier the way used to do uh, things especially i'm talking about senses like uh, well i think in late 90s or 2000 i think depend on the uh, continent where you are living uh, but some of the uh, countries which they were following so in other words I, I would say in the waterfall way of working or agile way of working and then devops can we use standalone devops practices have you seen that well uh, i i haven't but i mean uh... There is a conclusion I can make from my previous experiences that mm -hmm. uh, if both practices are uh, applied together in this specific domain, then uh, I think it will be more prolific and uh, it will be more fruitful, not only for the customer, but for the organization who is actually making development. Thanks. And I think this is where the uh, the what uh, we have also seen DevOps. You can use it with other frameworks. It's absolutely okay, but it's not. Uh, and that's my um, and this is what I have seen. Uh, the organization they want to reach the uh, when they want to get the best benefit out of Agile, they will sooner or later will go on the DevOps way of working also so they will combine exactly. it together so they will make exactly. a good cocktail exactly i mean uh, agile uh, could be used this philosophy could be implemented to complement devops say i yeah. mean the, the the very part of agile where it brings uh, the people together not only the developers the testers the ops guys the but you you said the security guys you said the business guys as well i mean the customer right so you you brought yeah. all those people together and that togetherness could be automated via devops and it will be like heavens isn't it yeah i think that ultimately the whole idea is how can i launch my product much 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 faster and how can i get the feedback if i got a feedback again i implement the feedback and here we go so, yeah, yeah, I mean, I, I, I remember I remember one of uh, Rajesh's uh, conversations and uh, I mean, no one can forget that. And that's about uh, health, wealth and uh, happiness, I think. And it, it will bring uh, everything together. It's, it's, it's so beautiful. I mean, uh, uh, Agile will complement DevOps. Everything is automated. People are together, but their works is automated via DevOps. Uh, so it's, it's, it's so beautiful and uh, their work can be quantified 
with the sprints or whatever you call it if, if you're using the scrum model so and everything can be tracked and everything uh, uh, you can uh, go back at any stage it's, it's, it's so good so I, I i like this idea actually it opens up uh, uh, many more venues to to put together business security development ops together all those people together with the help of De devops tools and everything is automated that's beautiful mahavir yeah thank you um anybody else any other thoughts so again i as i mentioned earlier i want to keep this session more interactive so these are the some information which i wanted to share with you i think we are now open for it uh, we can have some questions by the way we are also approaching towards 10 o'clock so um if you have more uh, i think what is your feeling have you when you seen that have you seen the devops practices in your organization so would you like to share some of the insights uh, what we are doing, how you are doing, and how you are planning your product uh, development, how you are implementing feedback, etc. So, people aspect as well as technical practices aspect. Sanjeev, Sire, Neha. Uh, well, actually, I am very new to DevOps, and uh, we have a DevOps team. But uh, I haven't engaged, so I don't know much idea. So actually, okay. I'm, I'm I'm part of a uh, cloud AWS cloud team. So we are going to uh, plan going to part of the team. Mm -hmm. so like, um, yeah. but, but I don't know like how they. But what we have a Scrum team, mm -hmm. and uh, unfortunately we are not in part of the Scrum team. So mm -hmm. I don't know much about the Scrum also. But I know about like the little bit of theoretical knowledge of this yeah so at least you have a something called scrum team in your organization right yeah, yeah. okay so again uh, more or less you will go towards this agile devops model okay uh, yeah. and this is where uh, i don't know in your in your particular team are you doing any kind of meeting every day for 15 minutes or something like that in even your cloud team uh no we have a weekly call uh, but we don't have any kind of like um, standard meeting kind of uh, yeah, because I saw the Scrum team they have standard meeting and they, like, they follow the different like Jira tool for ticketing all mm -hmm. the things. We have different. We are not part of that yet. So we are going to be okay. part of the both like DevOps and uh, Scrum team. So that's why and all this wants to understand the thing. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's good. How about others, Bhargav? You want to share something? People and uh, technical practices aspect. Uh, actually, I'm new to the DevOps. Uh, means actually, my project is related to DevOps only, but I don't know what is what. Uh, so that's the thing I want to check it from okay. here. No problem. It's good. So I think as I said, I think it's it's absolutely okay even if you're new or you don't know or you say even you want to say I don't want to comment anything is absolutely fine. But the idea is uh, you know, you should be able to uh, share the insight so that everybody get benefited out of it and then we get a better understanding of this entire topic. Uh, anybody else wants to add something? Raghu, you want to add something? Uh, yeah, uh, actually yeah, I work in the system integration team. So so I'm very much aware uh, till the continuous uh, integration part. So we use okay. uh, a lot of tools uh, starting from Jira, uh, Confluence, um, uh, under code in uh, Git, code review in mm -hmm. uh, Git. Uh, and then uh, the, uh, we create the build uh, in the Jenkins um, um uh, and uh, uh and test i uh, have an automated uh, test uh, uh, testing racks so uh, mm. yeah build test release so all these things like till the integration part like we get the features from different components like the ui drivers and uh, um the middleware so uh, all these uh, things would be integrated uh, built uh, and then tested so uh, right. till 
skill that uh, we are uh, that is what my team does so after that like yeah. anything go to a, towards trial or deploying uh, in a pre prod or a prod environment like so it's been handled by a different team yeah okay thank you okay um i think this is this is where i see and i think um, let me bring the good one good pri personal perspective i think as a enterprise agile coach i work with the cxos i work with the vp senior vp directors i work with the the teams uh, product owners scrum masters project managers as well as the people on the ground developers qas you know testers uh, security people compliance people who actually make it happen right and I, I i definitely i see the different perspective and when you when, when i'm talking to a specific person that okay this is my spe specific role and this is what i'm going to talk about now one important one uh, maybe interesting thing i want to share with you also there is a concept called full stack developer there is a momentum uh, you know it's getting the traction uh, it's not there i think not in the every organization but if you, if you look at the many of those uh, the very uh, good companies which are really building top-notch products this this idea is really really popular there if you they sometimes they call it 10x people okay or super devops or you know super developer i think some people they just given sometimes very nice names but the full stack developer is basically i there is a one man army show like more or less i can do n number of things where earlier it used to take like three four five people probably i will take a small piece of work and i will take it from end to end i will go there i can do back end i can do front end i can do testing i can do performance testing even i can do security testing and i will make a use of those tools so they call it t-shaped personality where i have a very strong experience or expertise in one particular area maybe in back end but at the t-shape that the upper part the horizontal line i have a breadth of experience also where i can go to maybe 100 miles and i know at least you know one fit down the earth what is there but in one particular area maybe i know you know 100 feet down the earth what exactly it is so i think uh, that is also very popular and i think there there is a if you um, if you search on the the job boards uh, you will see a lot of company it will eventually increase um it will go up uh, i i would say um just to give an uh, one context on this topic um i have given an interview in 2016 to one big company in india okay and they were talking about big transformation and etc etc and something like that and uh, they talked about like my previous experience which i shared and then i said well i was so much into this agile and i really really liked uh that i said well this is what it is and this is how it should be and probably this is this, this this and that person he had given me only half an hour time uh, of that to after two or three rescheduling because he was also at senior position and when i like in 15 minutes of time he just said no you are not like suitable candidate for us what is agile you know what are you talking about this is like you know agile will just just we are doing certain things in in our own way of working uh, from last so many years and we are so successful right and i i really felt like mm -mm, that was very wrong pitch you know um it's a, like premature launch of that new product where customer is not ready uh, and now I see big traction. I think from 2016 to 2020, uh, I think re Agile has really came into mainstream, especially into the various development team. And still, is it a really in the right form, right shape? Definitely not. There are a lot of people who just do the certification for one day or two day, and they call it, we are Agile certified. So definitely we know everything. You get a one certification, uh, You, I mean, there are certain certification, uh, we can discuss it offline if you are interested in one uh, in one weekend you will get the certification but practically implementing that knowledge it's very very uh, you know it's very simple but it becomes very difficult and the moment you teach wrong things to your team it creates more disaster rather than giving them the benefits 
you know um but having said that i see that oh, eventually it, it will go further and i think it will go further further up agile software development uh, another interesting aspect was mainly uh, earlier it was purely focused on the software development i have seen some very good development in the industries across the industry where uh, even your human resource your marketing your sales your compliance they are follow started following those agile values and principles and different frameworks okay let me give you one practical example even probably you are using agile in your own daily life do how many of you make to do list do you or have you heard of that something like to do list i should i want to make a list I, of i i do it. items i do it but you. i hardly comply with it <laughs> hardly that's another yes very thank you for your honest answer yes anybody else have you made a list of items maybe it's not to do list list of item which you want to even buy when you are going to market for example i believe everyone does it mahavir people are very shy to give you answers i think everyone does it yes so i think what you are doing is in a way you are running into a loop for example if you are making a to do list for one day you are prioritizing your task because maybe you need to finish 100 task but on that particular day out of 100 task which all task you want to finish which is a higher priority you know where you are trying to satisfy your short term as well as long term goals or you are you want to fulfill your goals right and this is where the prioritization the time boxing part there's a the loop uh, feedback part also comes in so in a way it's a very small part very tiny level uh, but you are in a way you are doing that agile uh, way of living you know if you look at the from kanban perspective there are also a lot of to do list and you pick up the top priority one with the certain rules and then you take it towards the uh, go live or towards the done so that you can finish it um so yeah i think uh, this is uh, this is what it is um i am open for the more discussion more questions around it uh, as promised at, at 10 o'clock we will have a break so do you guys also want to from my perspective i think content wise more or less i've shared my ideas uh, the rest of the time i more kept for discussion so that we can have a good discussion around it so do you want to have a break now come back in for 10 minutes or shall we continue what would you prefer uh, there is a little question here i mean uh, the, 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 there is an intuition actually is rajesh there in conversation somewhere uh, yes, uh, yes, uh, Imran, I'm there. Sorry, come, come, run. I'm, I'm yeah, lost. Sorry. Yeah, you, you call me whatever. Rajesh, well, uh, <laughs> there is uh, a great idea emerged today in uh, today's conversation, uh, which was uh, the biz dev sec ops, right? So, how can we integrate the business people in the whole process of? Uh, Agile and DevOps together. I mean, it, it would be a great idea. We can actually write a paper about this if, if we work something on this. I think it's the paper is already there. I think it's, it's only thing the idea is not so sorry to interrupt in between. Uh, but as far as paper is concerned, I think it is there. But we, of course, if you have a certain we want to publish it, it, it is also possible provided mm -hmm. we have some. No, the, the, the thing is when we talk about, uh, I mean, you talked about agile you talk about devops then we talk about devsecops then we talked about base devsecops understand so i mean in in, in the whole uh, devops methodology well uh, i mean uh, if uh, we we recall what we learned from uh, rajesh that uh, the jira basically is, is uh, some sort of a project management tool right uh, so it gives uh, a, a higher, very high view to the project managers, to the directors, that where, where, where was the things are and uh, how things automation is going on. Just, just an example that they wanted us to write a little code. We wrote it, wire Git. It was then uh, pushed into Git repository, and they got a notice from uh, 
probably uh, Jenkins or even from the Jira as well, that yes, this task has been done. The task was created from Jira. So where business business people, I mean, th there would be definitely some non-technical people where they could be integrated in this uh, process of automation. Uh, if you can answer this, Mahavir, that's fine. And if uh, Rajesh can answer this, I mean, with, with some ideas, that'd be great as well. So uh, I think I have, but I will uh, go ahead, Rajesh, I think. Yeah. So uh, when I look at the uh, business people, let's say these people who are very much involved with the, you know, uh, many times uh, with the, you know, customer, uh, uh, you know, understand interacting with the customers, understanding the requirements, maybe also understanding with the uh, the support team also, uh, interacting with the support team. Uh, I think uh, that is where it's needed. Like when you plan for any activities. Uh, uh, so in a DevOps, there's a one one concept which we have is like, uh, in fact, it's there in the uh, Agile also. So where uh, uh, the customer and then business people and then uh, development uh, architect and then testing teams. Uh, they are coming together and uh, they do the do do they have a scoping call? Like okay, these are the kind of plans which we have. These are the kind of challenges which we have, and we're going to work together. And that's how they uh, separate it out. What 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 the work should we should take it further and stuff like that. Now uh, again uh, here, if I look at this. Uh, uh, the model of the development in today's world, uh, like we are not having too many, uh, you know, too much of discussions on each and everything and long discussion because uh, more or less like uh, we have got the software which is based on the plugins concept, uh, plugins concept or let's say extension concept or let's say, uh, let's say uh, uh, the module concept or something like that. So nowadays, if you look at this, uh, uh, software uh, like let's say you you build a foundation and then and then you build a let's say five or six feature only five or six feature and then depends on the market demand you start building the more features so that is where that the business people you know uh, start you know interacting with the customer or maybe uh, in a b2b or c2b or whatever it is b2c whatever in the format uh, now they they come up with the ideas of, about like okay this is the kind of feedback which we have got it and if the if we implement this feature and this feature is like a microservices which can be enabled or disabled anytime it's like a Jenkins. If you might have uh, spent some time, uh, you want let's say 20 features to so install 20 uh, plugins, and uh, you want to disable, you want to enable, whichever it's come automatically, it's get a uh, power. So more or less nowadays we are developing a software like that only. So yes, it's uh, lots of ad hoc work which is happening. So uh, again, uh, let me put it in a right pers perspective based upon my experience. Uh, it's very difficult at some time. Uh, to define exact definition of Agile or exact definition of DevOps, exact definition of DevSecOps, exact definition of, of uh, whatever you can uh, call it, uh, any other uh, model also. Uh, we have a TDD, test driven development, BDD, behavior driven development, DDD, domain driven development. So, so many models which is coming up and so many practices which is coming up, so many tool set which is coming up. Uh, basically, the purpose is very simple. Uh, see, purpose is very simple. Like, how can you make your software quality improve? Okay, software quality improve, software development cost reduced, the software development running cost, software running cost reduced, and you can give the releases to the client as soon as possible. Okay, that's the overall objective of any process you uh, start with. Like uh, waterfall model, agile model, or uh, DevOps model, DevSecOps model, or uh, uh, practices, or whatever it is. Any tools also, you have a, this primary reason. Let me tell you here: uh, we cannot force one model to one particular in, for all companies or own product because their objectives are different. For example, we are still using MS Office for the Microsoft. The objective is not to do the frequent releases. Still, Microsoft will do or the releases once in a six month or once in a year. So they are still following up the what of a model. But let's say uh, you talk about like, uh, let's say uh, Paytm or let's say, uh, let's say uh, this organization, what we call it, eBay. 
or let's say Amazon. So they are on the microservices. So they have to, you know, uh, be very agile, very flexible, and uh, they can they they want to release every 20 minutes, 10 minutes, every one hour or every two hours. So it depends on the scope of the requirement. Also, many things happen. Uh, right now, uh, the, the 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 what we are discussing here is like a DevOps. Why we are discussing DevOps? Why we are learning DevOps? Uh, there's only one reason, and the reason uh, reasons are uh, we all want to incorporate. I mean, when when you say we means organization, organization wants to incorporate certain process, which is which is you know broadly it can be covered all part of automation, not only in terms of tool automation but integration of the all the tools and people my people's integration also like uh, earlier if you look at this we have a client then we have a uh, we have an architect then we have a development then we have a testing team we have operations we have a build and release team database networking and then support l1 l2 l3 all these things and then you say the business people so all these things all these people were working in an isolated environment how can you bring it together all the people should come together and work together not for the large requirement but for the small requirement okay and then uh, all the tools different different people use the different different tools like uh, we use uh, let's say uh, i'm a developer so i use java other people will uh, in operations they will use datadog or nagios or uh, splunk or anything different different uh, mindset also like uh, I'm a dev guy. I'm a QA guy. I'm a build and release guy. I'm an architect. I'm a manager. I am. I'm a. I'm a this. I'm a that. So that kind of mindset you have. So now DevOps basically helps you to do primarily three things. Okay. One is changing your mindset so you can work together. Changing your mindset so you can work together. Integrating all the tools so you can save time and avoid the wastage. And further reduce the running cost and the development cost. In a in a world of internet world, in a in a world of internet-based services world. So uh, I would say this is a like a very difficult to define, but this is my point of view to all of you. So now let's say that's that's where like if you are uh, learning DevOps, uh, you have to you have to become everyone. If you think okay, no 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 no, I will not become a development. I will not become a TQA people. I will not become operation. I will not become architect. I just want to be DevOps engineer. I want to get lots of salary, and I should get paid lots of salary without doing any hard work. So okay. I think uh, that is not uh, the good uh, mindset. So you have to become everyone. And uh, again, when I say, uh, what is the real definition? Still, I've been working on this uh, domain for last so many years, but still, uh, I cannot give you the perfect definition. So that is what I believe. So uh, if I can add something there, I think with, with respect to uh, agile, definitely there are a clear cut uh, definition. Uh, some I already shown you that um, manifest agile manifest website. Let me also give you that scrum guide uh, link. Uh, and there is yeah, a so very probably, uh, what, you can, what we can say, Mahavir, what we can uh, do, you can consolidate mm -hmm. all this list uh, of the URL and probably yeah. you, you can share with us. And then again, we'll go through that and probably again, we'll have a one more sort of discussions where we can discuss about the Agile versus DevOps. Yeah, and I think the one thing we hear, uh, at least if you can, uh, if you want to take away uh, with you uh, in this from the session is, uh, is that it's not Agile versus DevOps. And I think, uh, and read, if you want to do some research, please do so. Uh, it's agile complements. Uh, well, generally they no, say. No, I, agree, I agree. I agree. I understand. It. But here uh, we want to have a little bit of fight environment. Uh, see, it's it's all about everything is important. You know, yeah. uh, in a in a in a ad, you might have seen like in Airtel ad, her friends mm -hmm. jaruri hota hai. You know, <laughs> so it's like that. So everything is important, but I'm just putting up a title. Style versus DevOps, so that way people should, you know, start thinking how it is different, how it is similar, yeah. which complement which one, and what yeah. is the advantage, what is the pros and cons. So this is just a keyword actually, not not to define the versus stuff. Yeah. Okay, sure. guys. So we'll wrap this session up. If anyone have uh, any questions, please uh, do ask, and then we'll wrap it up. Uh, let me tell you guys, uh, this is the just a uh, discussion on the Agile and. Uh, uh, DevOps. So uh, this is uh, this was not a part of our training program. 
we added on ad hoc, ad hoc basis so yes please take it this is as, as a complimentary session and then uh, we'll have a regular sessions as we planned anyways uh, we'll have those sessions as well so before we uh, before we leave uh, i think uh, is it possible for you uh, where you can give me your feedback uh, how did it go and i think you can i can share one link uh, either you can do it verbally over here it like just uh, no 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 so Mahavir, please uh, please keep it this uh, stuff through uh, url so what you okay. can do you can have a one google forms and uh, you mm -hmm. can share with me i'll put it in the groups in fact you are in the group also so you can share with uh, with that group and uh, we will uh, pass it yeah but i think we don't have everybody in the group no i'll, I'll add it no no problem i have okay a, see uh, you are a part of the master in devops group uh, but i Correct. think few people are from uh, Dev group, so I'll share. No problem. No problem. Okay, it's good. So I think that's uh, that's cool. Okay. Thank okay, you very guys. much, Mahavir. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, Mahavir. Yeah. Thank you, thank you, everyone, thank for you. your time, and I hope it thank made you. a little bit clear to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Thank you. Bye.